Hello everybody and welcome back to some more World of Tanks. Now today is a bit of a different episode. Um, it's not so much about the gameplay, although we do do alright. <laughs> but anyway guys, today we are going to talk about the new update that is coming to World of Tanks on April the 27th. And that is called World of Tanks Modern Armor. So, it says on the World of Tanks forums, it will bring you a Cold War game mode that gives you control of some of the most powerful armoured vehicles from the late part of the 20th century. Now, this is really exciting because, as we know, all the tanks in the game at the moment, they're not, you know, up to date, we'll say. They're more older tanks from the war and stuff like that. But anyway, within each tech tree, the tanks will be further grouped into these three eras. So we've got post-war era, uh, escalation error and deter I don't know how to say that error but I'll put it on the screen <laughs> don't worry um, it's got lots of different tanks there is loads of them and we have lots of patterns from the Americans detente error there we go guys I think that's how I've cracked it I've cracked it I don't have to put it on the screen now <laughs> So we've got the Dante era, we've got heavy tanks, we've got medium tanks, we've got everything you could want. We have English tanks, I'm pretty sure that's Russian tanks as well. And this is really exciting, and I'm excited for this, because the game needs a bit of a boost for the community. It needs something new to liven it back up again, get more people downloading and playing. And I think they're doing really well with uh, this decision. So we just have two weeks to go until this update. I will be putting the description, the link in the description to the World of Tanks website. And we're doing well in this game at the moment. Pulled off already one shot. And we're gonna get a shock tiger. There we go. You guys will have to let me know in the description what you think about this new update that's coming in the comment section. But I'm just looking at the World of Tanks forums now. Error based matchmaking and Cold War tech trees. So there's a whole new tech tree for these tanks, which is really exciting. And as you can see guys in the game at the moment we are getting flanked from the back. Our team was doing really well to start off with, but not so much on the other side. So it says here, expanding the game with new maps available for both the World War II era and Cold War era, adding in features that you, the community, have long requested, such as artillery free battles in Cold War mode, along with cons- no. Really? I'm, right, I'm just reading this guy. I'm just reading this now. I haven't seen any of this, guys. Oh, no, God, sorry. Thank you. They're listening to us. See, so it's going to be really interesting to see the modern tanks against the older tanks. It would be interesting to see if they've done their real statistics in real life to see the differences. Four new larger maps, which is very good, because but the maps just get repetitive sometimes. Uh, if you guys have been watching the channel, you've seen this map in like every other video, because that's the map I get, is <laughs> Pilsen, every time. But anyway guys, that's the end of that game. We did in fact lose, but April the 27th is looking like a very good day for the World Tanks community and everybody here. So if you guys did find this helpful and enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. We're getting top of the team and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.